I made this video to talk about this whole current situation and I wanted to see if you guys could relate what's happening in your city. A couple days ago I went to Miami. I live about 30 miles away. So I wanted to go for a ride and just film what's happening around the city and how are people affecting to what's going on around the world and uh, I don't know just uh, I promise this is not a boring video and it's not another video where I'm gonna be telling you about how to wash your hands every day for 20 seconds every time you go outside in the house and go back and stuff so please stay to the end I have pretty interesting information and I think it's pretty cool what I came up with let's hop in the car go to Miami I am driving right now uh, on 95 this is the biggest highway here and I just wanted to show you guys how empty it is this is really like so uncommon because it's good i mean it's good because everybody's staying home i like that but usually this drive would take me about 40 minutes probably up to an hour sometimes depending on the traffic and right now literally it took me 25 minutes that's it that is crazy so fun fact uh i just quit my job about two weeks ago right before this happened uh because i opened up my own filmmaking uh, business and i had a bunch of projects lined up and I was super excited about it, but obviously because of that, uh, I got affected. Everybody got affected. All those small businesses, big businesses got affected. The whole economy got affected. So all my stuff, all my gigs are on hold right now. Hopefully this all gets better in a few um, months, I say, so we can get back on the track and just move on, you know? I try to stay home most I can, especially right now there is a, a, a curfew and there is an actual order if you go outside with no reason, uh, such as let's say going to a supermarket or uh, just walk with a dog or whatever, you get a fine of $500 and you can go to jail for up to 60 days. What I noticed is we have two types of people right now. The people who are overreacting and the people who just don't give a finger. This is Ocean Drive. It is right at the beach in Miami and this place would be usually so full you would not be able to park your car. But right now the streets are just empty. People are running in the middle of the streets. They ride in their bicycles, they ride in skateboards and stuff. People just live in their normal lives. But on the other hand, there are people who just don't care, like I said. I flew the drone over the South Beach and gosh, I have never seen this place that empty. There is not a single person there. So I'm gonna go to local Walmart and about a week or 10 days ago it was crazy this whole situation about with with toilet paper it was pretty bad and not even that like you would not even see like chicken and milk and eggs so right now it, got, it kind of got better there are a lot of fruits there is chicken there is beef um, there's plenty of water in the supermarkets I even seen paper towels I guess because they limit them one per family which is cool but the current situation with the toilet paper didn't really change as you could see here as i'm walking through this row this place where i'm sitting right now by the way is basically the backyard of my apartment complex and there's something that i noticed which is pretty cool the wildlife situation here everything is just so alive the nature right now is just booming um, like check out these iguanas and ducks and it's just amazing to watch them so what i call this is a nature is healing itself and uh, let me explain. You see, our economy was booming. Take a look at the stock market. It was going up, up, up and up. It's been such a long time from the last recession and we basically were due for this. On the other hand, the environment, the pollution was so bad and it kept getting worse and nobody could really do anything to stop it. Recently, as we know, we had to put a lot of things on hold. Factories are closed, people are not going to work. Everything is like on pause. I think this is nature's answer to humanity and it knows how to heal itself. This is just a perfect example how everything is getting back to normal and nature is getting back to its place. Because why? Because we have less pollution right now, the economy is not booming because the factories are closed or they are partially working. So our air is better, the pollution is less, it's a win-win situation, at least for nature, not for the economy. But that's how nature is stopping us from killing it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Especially in the long run, I think it makes sense. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know in the comments below how is your city dealing with the current situation. Stay home, be nice, and don't forget to eat your vegetables. Peace!